Holly Holm admits she's feeling a twinge of deja vu leading up to UFC 219. As she prepares to fight Chris Cyborg Justino for the women's featherweight title Saturday at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Holm has a chance to shock the world again. This will be the second time she's climbed into the octagon with one of MMA's unbeatable champions, and we all remember what happened the first time. Holmes' astonishing head kick knockout of Ronda Rousey at UFC 193 in November 2015 caused a tectonic shift in the landscape of the sport. It ended Rousey's reign as both bantamweight champ and the UFC's biggest draw while simultaneously teeing home up to be the fight company's next female superstar. That star turn never fully materialized, as Holm went on to drop her next three fights in a row. If the Rousey victory was one of MMA's biggest surprises, Holmes' consecutive losses to my Shaw date, Valentina Shevchenko and Shermaine Durandami turned it into one of the sport's greatest missed opportunities. Those defeats fashioned Holm into an odd figure in combat sports. Her previous professional boxing experience and hot start on the independent MMA scene made her the hottest of hot prospects. The victory over Rousey had her poised to cash in on that considerable potential. Then she squandered it, effectively dropping out of the conversation as current bantamweight champion Amanda Nunes took over the division. Now against Justino, Hum will get something approaching a do-over. In one fell swoop, she might change much of what we think of her, becoming a two-time, two-division UFC champion and rebooting herself at 145 pounds. She's going off as nearly a 3-1 underdog to Cyborg, according to Odds Shark, but represents perhaps the most interesting stylistic challenge of the ferocious titleist's career. Holm excels when her opponents bring the fight to her, and Cyborg is nothing if not dependably aggressive. Justina won't be as reckless as Rousey was, and she'll be even more dangerous, but fans are already used to seeing Holm do the impossible. I think there are similarities with the feeling of it, Holm said during last week's UFC 219 media call. Just knowing that people are having a little bit of doubt. To be the underdog, again and come in, I think people think, oh, okay, well Holly is capable of doing some, surprising things. Certainly, Justino appears as invincible now as Rousey did then. Cyborg may have a far less cozy partnership with the UFC than the one Rousey enjoyed, but the results have been just as dominant. Unbeaten since 2005, Justino has amassed a record of 18-1-1, including 12 straight knockouts. Along the way she's established a reputation as one of the most fearsome fighters in MMA history. Her only recent career hiccups include a positive steroid test in 2011 that turned a successful strike force title defense into a no contest in an icy relationship with the UFC, which has kept her from taking her rightful place among the organization's biggest drawing cards. Like Holmes letting the wave of notoriety she got by beating Rousey stale into disappointment. Cyborg has also spent much of her career in the octagon watching the biggest opportunities float slowly by. For years, fans hungered for a Justina vs. Rousey super fight, but Cyborg's inability to make the 135-pound limit, and perhaps Rousey's unwillingness to take the fight in the first place, made it impossible. After years of public spets and dead-in negotiations, Cyborg didn't even arrive in the UFC until May 2016, six months after Holm laid Rousey flat. Even after officially becoming a UFC performer, Justino's path has been rocky. Early on, matchmakers didn't seem to know what to do with her, booking her in a series of 140-pound catchweight attractions. When the company finally moved to create a featherweight division, Another negotiating stalemate kept Justino out of the inaugural title bout. Instead, Durandami defeated Holm at UFC 208 to become the first 145-pound women's champ in promotional history. Still, Cyborg's shadow loomed large. Durandami spent just 128 disastrous days with the title before the UFC stripped her, citing her refusal to defend against Justino. Cyborg defeated Invicta FC bantamweight champ Tanya Evinger via third-round TKO to claim the vacant title in July 2017. Afterward, the fight company hit the reset button, 
booking the fight and wanted from the beginning, Cyborg vs. Home. Home made the bout possible by following up her loss to Durand Emmy by heading back to Bantamweight and scoring a rehabilitative knockout over Beta Correa in June 2017. Given the shallow nature of the new featherweight class, where the UFC doesn't even offer rankings on its official website, that was good enough to make her attractive as Cyborg's next opponent. For her part, Justino says she has known this fight was coming since the night she watched home KO Rousey. I watched the fight, Cyborg said during the UFC 219 media call. On that day, I was making plans to fight Ronda, but when Holly beat Ronda, I said one day soon, I'm going to fight Holly. It will be a massive opportunity for both fighters, especially home. For the Albuquerque, New Mexico, native, it's a chance to beat yet another MMA icon and to pair her improbable victory over Rousey with one perhaps even more unexpected. Despite the fact Holmes' own UFC career hasn't quite lived up to expectations, defeating both Justino and Rousey would seal a unique, if admittedly strange, legacy. She's taken down a legend before. Does at Holly Holm have what it takes to do it again? Hash UFC 219t.co web link. Becoming featherweight champion would have obvious privileges. For home, it could be the difference between being remembered as an also ran and retiring among the all time greats. The fledgling 145 pound title offers new life to the handful of contenders ready to step in from Bantamweight. If home can become champion there, it could set up a series of interesting and promotable matchups for her against contenders such as Kat Zingano, Megan Anderson, or Nunes. Maybe Home could even close out her career in a style befitting the hype fostered by her win over Rousey. Instead of being remembered as a one-hit wonder, she might go down as MMA's giant killer.